Gib. Gib keys. Just a little more basic. Just a basic thing you're going to be doing if you're fooling around with these engines very much. This is this is just basic. Yeah, what we got is I think I have everything we need. I've got it right here. A uh, flat piece of metal with a hole put in it, Your Honor. A length of uh, pipe, and, and and this right here come out of something or another. It's just a, uh, it 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 fits. Actually, it did it did fit. I believe it'll work. We'll give it a try. And and what I got to do, y'all have seen me do this before, but there has been a good many comments as to the problems. With the Gib keys, seems to be a seems to be a real struggle in some in some instances, and it is. I agree, it is. The uh, and this and, and and once the Gib is that thing right there on the top, and and I put that I put that thing down in there to to bring that Gib key out of there, and uh, instantly the the Gib broke off of it. It's it's gone. So now we're stuck with the problem to get that gib key out of here to get the flywheel off. And you do have to take, you have to remove these flywheels. Hey, listen up. You, it, 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 is, it is important that you remove these flywheels so that you can set the in play the the side play so they don't see that goes back like that right there okay that's too much but when you put this engine back together you have to slide those flywheels together in order to take that slack out of there but anyways to get on with this gib key the uh that's just a bolt under I cut off or I think that's a 716 and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna weld it on there and then and, and now there is there is a question you know should I put it on the side and put a bead down through yonder well I think not and that's only about one inch of, of key I've got sticking out there oh this one was this one was tight really tight so I think I'm gonna run two beads one on each side that'll give me more support I'm thinking That's well done. Weld the bolt to it. The plate that I got right here, uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, too big for that. Oh, if that would go on there, it sure would be a it would be an asset, but the hole ain't big enough. And, uh, you know, I'm just not going to enlarge it. The kind of stuff you're going to be running into there. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's what you're going to be running into. You know, I think, I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to enlarge that hole because it will, it will, it will work, it will work better. And it, this hole right here, I'm just going to take a torch and cut a little, a little clearance for that bolt so it'll go on there. I, th I think it'll work, so let's give it a try. Yeah. Okay, now what that's, that's half inch thick right there, and that's just a piece of scrap or something. But that, that will serve to uh, spread uh, the, 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 the force out completely around the hub of that flywheel. The, uh, I, I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that offset.
to the bottom instead of lining it up in the center. That way it will put the, the push mower to the center of the flywheel. Now when we put this on here, we, we've got some threads in there to, and I did, and while, while, while I was away, I sprayed a little bit, just a very little, uh, PB blaster on that key there to let it be a soaking little bit. Every little bit of things helps. Actually, an impact works better uh, to extract that. It's the jar in motion. And so, with that said, let's see if it'll come off. No movement. Get the big hammer. Well, not too big. Okay, we better look at that one. No movement on that give key at all, but I can see a line around the flywheel that appears well, I'm not all that sure, but I believe it's pushing the flywheel backwards. So let's uh, let's go at it again. We do have several threads there to go. Aha! Uh -huh. Tough one. And pull the weld half. Actually what it done is it pulled, the weld didn't give way, it actually pulled the metal away from the gib key. Now what we're going to do.